look at that. Now they got something to do with that Jade Helm, bruh. They finna take us over, bruh. Ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. Look at that. Look at this crap. This is crazy. Oh, that is crazy. This is look crazy. at that. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And y'all saying ain't nothing gonna happen? Zoom in. Zoom in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And they're oh. all white. Why are they all white? Uh, I don't know. Isn't white a UN color? What's up guys event horizon now i don't know why people still think that this jade helm is just a drill it's like if you saw somebody suspicious like a stranger just standing across the street from your house and you thought he was doing something suspicious and you walked over to him and you're like hey man what are you doing and he's like no i'm just doing nothing i'm, I'm just hanging out over here but you knew he was up to something acting suspicious would you just take his word for it or would you continue to watch them? It's kind of like what's going on right now with this Jade Helm thing. The government swears up and down it's just a drill, but they're acting quite suspicious. You see all this military buildup across many different states. Utah, Texas, California, Colorado, all these different states. You see the military just building up. It's kind of like the enemies are at the gates and nobody even notices. Now, people say that, yeah, this is just Middle East training. They're just training out in Texas, out in Utah, out in California. They're just training because they're just training to, to go fight in the Middle East. And that that kind of cracked me up a little bit because, and sorry, I'm a little sick here. That's why I haven't been doing too many videos lately. But it, it kind of cracks me up to say that they're training in these, United, in these states in the United States for a fight that's going to happen in the Middle East. Now, I'm going to tell you a story right here, real quick. I had a friend, right? And he went to Iraq. He, he was uh, he he's been to Iraq and Afghanistan. And before one of his deployments, I got on the phone with him. And I was talking like, "Yeah, man, be safe out there. You know, have a good time. You know, just messing with them and shit." And he said, "Yeah, thanks." He's like, "I gotta go though because we're doing uh, desert training right now." And so he was doing. They were doing desert training like a couple of months before they got deployed. So they train where they're gonna fight. Why? Like that's. They were in, they were desert training because they were going to he was going to Iraq or Afghanistan I don't know which one it was but I'm pretty sure it was Iraq and they were doing desert training so they trained where they're gonna fight so why would they be training in Texas and Utah and California and Colorado or not California Colorado why would they be training in Utah and tech mainly in Texas why would they be training there to go fight in the Middle East their cities and towns don't look anything like the cities and towns in Texas so it doesn't make any sense to me. It's, it's a blatant lie because they're not going to train in Texas to fight in the Middle East. Because when my friend was deployed in the Middle East, they were doing desert training in like the Sahara Desert or the desert in California or whatever. So for them to sit there and say that we're going to be training in Texas to go fight in the Middle East, it, it makes no sense. It's, it's only a fool would take that. 
Only somebody who who doesn't critically think for themselves would would just say, "Oh, okay, no big deal." Then people are naive. They think that the government loves them, that the government will protect them, and that things like this can't actually happen in the United States. But they don't know the real facts. We're not living in a democracy or a republic like it was supposed to be anymore. We live in an oligarchy. And an oligarchy is a government controlled by corporations. And a government controlled by corporations only cares about corporate interests, not the people. That's why I don't understand why people would think that it's so far-fetched for the government to be working with a corporation like Walmart. Who do you think runs this government? Not the people. The corporations. And the corporations only care about making money. A government ran by corporations only brings tyranny. You think these corporations want free people? They want slaves. They want people that will work for them for nothing. So they can maximize profits and pay the little guy even less. Makes even more sense when you take into consideration the fact that Obama opened up the borders. He opened up the borders for the corporations. Because those illegals flooding into our country will work for nothing. And then the corporations can fire those Americans who had jobs in their companies to begin with. Because the illegals will work for pennies on the dollar. And then the corporations will finally have something closer to a slave than they've ever had before. You think Jade Helm was just a drill? Think again. Maybe you haven't done enough research. This is Event Horizon. Peace out.